Hello and welcome to the Business Reporter Studios. When, today I'm joined by Louis Thompson of Simulation Systems. Hello now. Let's start, we've all been stuck in traffic jams, going nowhere, very frustrating. And we know things aren't going to get any better anytime soon. More traffic, more pressure on roads. What are the big challenges? I think the biggest challenge of all is that the, the road network um, was built many years ago uh, and uh, the amount of traffic has uh, grown substantially since then. It's, a, it's an issue of capacity and the capacity has grown as the nation has grown and prosperity has increased. What are the implications? Well, um, I think traffic flow is a little bit like blood, blood flowing around a body. Um, when blood is flowing well, we're healthy and we're, we're feeling good and we can do a lot of work. Um, when blood isn't flowing so well, the parts of your body which, which are, are starved of blood um, start to sicken and, and uh, you know, it's, it means poor health. The same thing applies with traffic flow. If traffic can't get into areas of the city, those areas of the city will effectively um, lose business, they'll lose money, P congestion levels go up as a result. Um, the amount of pollution rises. What kind of figures have you, have you got to back this up? Well, um, the, the most commonly used figure um, is that uh, GB PLC is losing £8.4 billion pounds, um, a year um, as a result of traffic congestion, and that's in uh, London alone. So uh, if you take that across the whole of uh, the UK, um, it must be a phenomenally large number. So how would you respond to these challenges? we would um, try and improve uh, the, the, the knowledge of the network with um, vehicle sensors. Um, we've worked uh, in, the, in the area of uh, traffic detection for many years. In fact, um, I wrote the very first um, automatic motorway signalling software in 1986. Um, but the, the most promising and exciting technology that I've come across in recent years um, is based on Bluetooth technology. So our Bluetooth system can be deployed around the city. Um, it can detect traffic issues, uh, traffic queues and incidents very quickly. And it can provide information to traffic managers and to the general public um, about the incidents. The traffic managers can then take instant action by uh, diverting traffic or changing traffic signal patterns that alleviate the congestion or um, which favour traffic flows so that you don't get two, two courses of congestion together. So is your solution purely a technology one? It isn't all about the technology, it's about the effect that the te technology brings. A good example of uh, where we've used technology to help people is um, uh, the tactile cones that we provide. Um, we, we provide the original um, and the best uh, tactile cone which goes underneath the weight box um, which uh, uh, blind people use to identify when the green man is, uh, is actually road. flashing and right. can cross the road. So that's one of our, one of our key mm. products. Let's talk more precisely about simulation systems. Simulation systems is, uh, is all about people. Um, so we don't have any machines or factories at SSL and we've just got some very, very clever people. So uh, well, uh, just as a measure of that, I think we've got about 12 PhDs. Um, in total, we've got 160 highly skilled people. Now, the reason that we, we uh, are major on, on brains at SSL is because everything that we create is, is designed from, from scratch pretty much. So... Um, it typically starts with a customer coming along with a, a problem that he wants us to solve or um, we, we get an idea for a product or a better way of doing things, i.e. an innovation. A good example of that uh, comes from one of our clients, TfL. Um, TfL wrote a, a very um, specific uh, definition of, a, of a, 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 an enterprise-scale digital CCTV system, which is uh, the, one of the, the most advanced and, and best in the world. Um, and this CCTV system had to be implemented in time for the 2012 Olympics. And without the system working, it would have been impossible to monitor the Olympic routes. We delivered the system, bang on spec, bang on time. The system has uh, uh, worked exceedingly well through the, the, through the Olympics and it's continuing to give good service as, as we speak. You're an SME. How do you compete with the, with the really big companies? 
as an SME um, and uh, as a decision maker in my company, um, I, it gives me an awful lot of freedom. Um, the, the only people I'm really accountable to are my customers, and that's the way it should be. I know large companies uh, have got uh, a lot more constraints. They've got uh, um, issues such as keeping the shareholders happy. Um, they've got a very railroaded direction. There's only certain markets they're allowed to enter and only certain size customers that they're allowed to deliver into. And as SSL, we can deliver to whoever needs our product and should a, uh, a new market arise, um, we'd be delighted to enter it. You know, and uh, it's, it, it's uh, all about innovation um, and freedom to deliver what people need. Anything that improves my drive around London is good news with me, Louis. Uh, Louis Thompson, many thanks. Thank you very much.